fighting out of Louisville, the greatest. And he's a bullet across the ring, King of Manchester, Crusher. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Well, for a guy who likes to fight on the outside, what would be number one on his to-do list, Teddy? Control range. Make sure that he's punching at the right distance and at the right time. You're too late punching. That shorter man, he's in close already. Good block there by the greatest. Doubling up the jab by Crusher. And from long range, he's able to get his target he wanted. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he did. The great. What a big shot. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. Five, six, seven. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Good block by the greatest. A little head hunting with the right. The greatest his movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Crushers right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Crusher. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by the greatest. Ten seconds to go in this round. Hits him in the mug with the right. Crusher's not getting her wants. They are bubbling with confidence. They know they can go out and accomplish things again here. The greatest coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by the greatest. Get your back off the ropes. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Good defensive skill with the block by the greatest. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. The greatest is on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. We count down the final moments of this round. And that's the end of round two. The greatest giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now 
just so much more defense we're seeing out there. Well, right now, what I think he has to do is try to get an Oscar. Get that award that those great actors get and not show that he's defensive right now because if he shows that too much, his opponent is going to know what he has to do to take advantage. Rusher's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. He gets off with a combination up top. Has a nice right hand that time by Crusher. Scores up top with a left. Come on! And he engages in the clinch. Side to coming side. to the halfway point of this third round. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. That's a good block by the greatest. Rusher's going well with the hook on the inside again, but Teddy, I'm looking at it saying I can't believe nothing's coming back at him. There's got to be the opportunity there to counter that, right? There is an opportunity, especially because he's taking a picture a little bit. You know, he's looking at what he does. He keeps doing that. Some flash bulbs might go off right in his eyes, in his head. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Crusher. And that's the end of round. Crusher's enjoying a big lead here, Teddy. And we talk about this often as we begin round number four of three to zip on your scorecard. When you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances that maybe weren't in the game plan. And as he takes chances, gets a little reckless, and as you're seeing, gets caught more. A well-timed right hand by Crusher. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Rusher's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Doing very nicely staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about basketball, he's a guy who likes to be in the paint. Hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. Right hand, then a left hook to the head. Both land flush. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counterpunch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Russia's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. I don't know, Teddy. It's just where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good flush shot by Crusher. Well played, straight right hand. The greatest has done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times would always say, don't lead with a hook from too far in front because the straight punch will find its way inside it. He brings it right back. Big shot upstairs. The greatest is combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Right 
to the head with that right. Let's see some more head movement. Not an accurate hook at all. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Right to the belt line. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Crusher's giving his opponent fits right here. His head that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. There you go. He just missed that shot up top. Uppercut. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by the greatest. Rushers feeling the impact of a big counterpunch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Work in the box. Nice work to the midsection with the left. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. There's no need to be inside. Good step back counter punch there. Beautiful. The greatest is thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And the round comes to an end. And he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Rusher's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. What a nice combo by the greatest. Come on, kid, focus! Crusher's winning these middle rounds here, and he's doing so with infighting. And that's exactly what he envisioned when this fight started. He wasn't sure he was going to get it, but this is what he was hoping he would get. He's happy right now. Halfway through the seventh round, Rusher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. The greatest is cut is really not a good sign. Rusher's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Well, that was Keep his intention, moving. and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Ten seconds remaining in this round.
And round seven. Russia's seen this fight go exactly the way he's wanted it to go. He's up big on your scorecard, Teddy, through seven rounds. And most of all, he's got all the gas left in the tank to finish up strong. Yeah, he's not looking for a petrol station. You know, sometimes you've been down a road a little bit and you start looking for that gas station. He doesn't have to worry about that. Smooth sailing. his punches together good combination by crusher crusher's been having great success with these combinations teddy well there's a reason for it he's using his jab to start it and then he's letting the punches go letting their hands follow Turns fire with a left hand. Two snapping jabs by Crusher. Nice strike after catching one by the greatest. Able to bring the hook down low. You got this one. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Crusher. The greatest is damaged by that shot upstairs. Russia's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Russia is able to land a nice, clean left hand. He is damaged. Oh! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? You don't want to stay in the middle. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Not able to land the headshot. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body, and then that right hand. The greatest is now switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's dead. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind, I'm saying, I got him right where I want him. Nice jabs there by Crusher. And now a well-placed hook to the head. I think everybody's impressed by the work he continues to do here on the inside. I'm impressed, but I'm impressed with the way that he keeps getting in there. Good right hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. The greatest is in a bang. Wow! From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one. Maybe six inches. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. There's just no quit in this guy. He's been damaged, but still he's trying to make a fight of it. Look, I love that about him. The fans love that about him. It's great. But he's got to learn when it's time to turn it off, when it's time to clinch a little bit, survive a little. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Greatest proving to be elusive. Good exchange. He fires back. What a difference from control of this fight peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Solid hook upstairs. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice work with the uppercut. 
Rushers putting forth an uppercut on the inside. I mean, that is the perfect punch at the perfect place, right on the inside there. No, it is, Joe. To be a complete fighter, you have to know which punch to pick at the right time. That is the right punch to split the guard. That is where the opening is with that uppercut. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. The greatest right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes.